Hey guys and welcome back to Marvelous Videos with me, Ray Jericho. We're all familiar with Nightcrawler, the superhero mutant from the X-Men universe, right? I mean, it's hard to forget the demon-like appearance, blue skin, pointed ears, glowing yellow eyes, and of course the prehensile tail. Despite this grotesque appearance, Nightcrawler has been seen to be kind and compassionate on several occasions, deeply influenced by his strong Christian faith. That is quite the plot twist. He is indeed a much favored character among fans. He is often part of the heart and soul of the X-Men comics, and has at times even served as the team's moral compass. Nightcrawler possesses many remarkable powers, the primary and most well-known of which is his ability to teleport. He can teleport himself, his clothing, and a certain amount of extra mass from one point to another, almost instantaneously. Although limited across a certain distance, he has been gradually improving through years of practice and experience, in tune with the evolution of his character. This teleportation is achieved by displacing oneself in an alternate dimension, called the Brimstone Dimension, briefly, and then reappearing to another location almost instantly. And that's what we are here for. An ultimate break down of his ability to teleport, how it happens, and where it happens. Let's talk in detail about Nightcrawler's ability to teleport, as well as about the brimstone dimension through which Nightcrawler has to travel as he teleports from point A to B. Can you teleport that far? How does Nightcrawler teleport? Nightcrawler actually teleports by displacing himself through the brimstone dimension, going through it, and then returning to his original dimension at a particular distance from his original point of departure. Although he consciously chooses the point of return, the entire process happens so quickly that Nightcrawler is unaware of being in the brimstone dimension at all. This ability of teleportation that Nightcrawler utilizes frequently is not psionic in nature at all. Rather, it's an outcome of unknown biochemical reactions that he can trigger mentally, along with a small portion of escaping sulfur, i.e. brimstone smoke. There is also a muffled yet loud sound of imploding air that sounds like BAMF. Nightcrawler's teleportation also causes a slight change in the atmosphere that very few sensitive characters like the Daredevil can sense. Apart from horizontal teleportation, Nightcrawler can also teleport vertically, which is generally not recommended, as it can be dangerous, as Nightcrawler's momentum is retained during the teleportation. This means that he cannot save himself when falling from a great height by means of teleportation. Teleportation generally weakens and drains the person involved, so teleporting over large distances might be fatal for someone novice. Nightcrawler, apart from being faster and stronger than an elite Olympic athlete, also has limited subconscious extrasensory ability to prevent being materialized below the surface of the ground or entirely within a solid object. The limitations of this ability mean that Nightcrawler will not teleport teleport to any place that he cannot see or has not seen in the past due to the risk of partially materializing or being entirely materialized within a solid object and getting killed. A notable example of Nightcrawler's limitations of teleportation is seen when Doctor Doom once trapped him in a simple windowless and doorless room and Nightcrawler couldn't figure out which way was out until he felt Storm shake in the complex and he remembered that the building was only so deep. In that moment, Nightcrawler teleported as high as he could and skydived down through the winds looking for updraft to slow him down significantly. When he reached the state of zero momentum, Nightcrawler then instantly teleported back to the ground. Overall, Nightcrawler is considered a leading authority on teleportation by other Marvel characters like Spider-Man and Daredevil, who have at times come to him for advice regarding teleportation. There are though times that Nightcrawler has failed to effectively use his teleportation powers, like when he was unable to teleport Heather Hudson due to the presence of an electromagnetic field that was messing with his powers. What is the Brimstone Dimension? The Brimstone Dimension is an alternate realm found in a dimensional rift with a tear located at Islas Desdemonas. It is essentially a shortcut through another plane of reality that enables Nightcrawler to bypass normal rules of space-time in the main universe. The dimension is depicted as being filled with suffocating brimstone, i.e. sulfur smoke, much like the atmosphere of the planet Venus, which has a lot of sulfuric acid in it. The Brimstone Dimension's origins, nature, all of its native life forms and its place in the larger Marvel Universe. The answers to these curiosities are largely unknown and have not been explored in that amount of detail in the comics or movies. The Brimstone Dimension has been a key aspect
aspect of the Nightcrawler's story, but its depiction can vary based on the situation and comic. It has sometimes been portrayed as a regular transit space, but also as being an ominous and threatening realm. Knowledge of the existence of the Brimstone Dimension was known to the Munit's Homo Superior, who were known as the Seraphim, forever battling the demonic entities called Neophim. During the peak of the conflict, Seraphim started banishing their foes by sending them to a timeless prison at the Brimstone Dimension. During their imprisonment, a mutant named Azazel led his followers to breed mutant teleporters, who would be able to pass into this Brimstone Dimension during their process of teleportation. These included mutants like Abyss, Kiwi Black, and of course, Nightcrawler. In an alternate X-Men reality, Nightcrawler, with the help of Forge's device, is able to stay longer in another red fiery dimension, filled with sulfur, i.e. brimstone, and having very low gravity. It was also populated by two-legged raptor-like reptilian animals. Though not directly named, this is a version or depiction of the brimstone dimension. In 2004, the planned mission for the gathering of Azazel's children came to pass, with characters like Nightcrawler converging at the location of Islas Desdemonas, being controlled by their father's genetic connection. These teleporters began their ritual to try to create a rift in the brimstone dimension, but this process was timely interrupted by the X-Men. Marvelous Verdict The character of Nightcrawler has always been an interesting one, and one of the first to properly explore religious themes in mainstream superhero comic books. His constant struggle for acceptance because of his physical appearance is also a theme that strongly resonated with readers. Nightcrawler's teleportation skills are quite special and in high demand. The concept of teleportation via another dimension has been used for various characters in future generations of comics and movies, being influenced by Nightcrawler's storyline. Overall, the concept of there being an immediate, transitory realm or dimension filled with darkness, sulfur, fire, smoke, and maybe perhaps some really interesting creatures or life forms is an intriguing thought proposition and can be and surely will be deeply explored in future comics and movies. Stay curious and have a marvelous day ahead.